All right, so this is my series elastic actuator, servo actuator. And so um, I've basically taken a brushless servo here. It, you can use any servo with it, but I've taken a brushless servo here, uh, four to six kg, and I've made, I've designed and printed a uh, servo horn that acts as a series elastic actuator. So um, basically how this works is a uh, series elastic actuator measures spring deflection. So as you can see, whenever I push this, you can call it the output shaft, whenever I push this lever from the output shaft, you can see that it deflects. And if you look under, there's a spring there. And so that spring gives tension to the system. So when I push it, it snaps back into place when I let go like that. And why it does this is because back here, there's a Hall effect sensor right here. And so that Hall effect sensor, uh, you might not be able to see it well, but there are actually two magnets here. So there's one magnet right there. And then the other one's on the other side, about like right here. And so every time I push this lever, you can see that Hall effect sensor turns and gets closer to one of the magnets and farther from the other magnet. And so um, when you hook this up to a microcontroller, I'm using an Arduino Mega, Mega. And so when you hook this up to a microcontroller, you get uh, different values depending on which way you turn. So of course there'll be a normal value when nothing, when you're not pushing it at all. And so if you turn one way, it'll rise or decrease. And if you turn it the other way, it'll rise or decrease. But for example, I have it set up so that when you pull it right, then um, the number rises, it goes higher up. And when you pull it left, it goes lower, it goes down. And so I have it in a way uh, that the more you pull, the higher the number gets. It's not uh, binary, it's not just, it's not a digital value, it's an analog value. And so it, uh, as you pull it more right, it gets higher. And so that way you can measure spring deflection and therefore you can measure force. And so with that, um, that's basically the principle of the uh, series elastic actually. I also have an AS5600 uh, encoder right there and an encoder magnet on top of here. And I'm using that um, to sort of measure the, the position uh, because with the servo, um, it, it measures it in uh, microseconds, I believe. and. Uh, yeah, I'm just not really too accustomed with that. And also I wanted a way to verify it. And there are some things you can't really do with the microseconds value that you can do with the encoder, which is uh, monitor its position as it moves um, and also calculate velocity. So that's why I have the encoder there. Um, so let me show you how it works. So first of all, uh, this is how a normal servo w works, right? When I move it to a position, I can't turn it. I'm pulling, pushing right now, and I can't turn it. And so how this one works, and let me put in the code. I have a, a couple of different uh, functions in here it's in the program that I've made. So one of the functions is that it um, has free movement, and it basically has compliance. So I just uploaded that. And so as you can see, I'm gonna push this lever. And so it'll measure the spring deflection and then it'll move in that way. It'll conform to that way I'm pushing it. So for example, I'm pushing it now. So normal servos don't do this. If you push a servo, it's not gonna budge. Um, but this one is because I programmed it to do so. So it's measuring that spring deflection. So you can see it might even, it's barely turning, but you can see that every time I push it just a little bit and measure that spring deflection. So if I push it harder, it'll move faster, right? It'll have a more drastic movement, right? So to defend, uh, depending on how much force I'm applying, which is measured by the, the magnets, the holographic sensor and the spring, right? And so in the program, I can change that value so that it has a more drastic uh, movement every time I push it. So if I up that value and upload it, you'll see that it moves. It's a lot more reactive every time I push it. Another uh, function I've made is to have it hold its position and to also conform when you push it. So it kind of acts like a virtual spring. So if I upload that one, it'll move to its 90 degree position like there. 
and it'll want to stay there, but it'll allow me to push it. It'll just snap back into that position. So for example, if I push it, I can push it still, but it'll, you see, move back to that 90 degree position. So it's kind of acting like a virtual spring. And if you want to kind of change that, uh, the snappiness, how, how fast it, uh, turns back to that normal position, um, you can change that number in the program as well. So right now I'll change it to maybe like about five. And so it'll snap back into position a lot faster. And just like that. So that's how uh, that, that's how that works. Um, and of course, I have also made a function to move it to a certain position. Uh, this servo has about 180 degree, a little less than 180. It's about like 160 degrees of rotation. So it, this is its end stop right there. And then it goes to like about there. So it's about 160 or so. And there you have it.